Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel. And today we're going to be talking about what are Grumman gang members using for engine preheat in the winter. I think you'll be amused by some of the answers, so stay tuned for some fun. Mm -hmm. So we would like to ask you, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. So we put out a question on the Grumman Gang. Hey, what's everybody using for engine preheat? And we got a variety of answers, and they fell into like 15 general categories. But the really interesting ones were the ones that broke down. People are using their climate, a sump heater of some sort, easy heat system, the reef system, the TANF system, or some other system. And let's talk about some of those for a minute. I think the one that caused the most amusement was the one who said, I use my climate. They live in Florida or they live in Arizona. They live in a southern clime where winter temperatures are really not a problem. So there's no way you're going to be able to drag like Montana down to Florida. So where you live is where you live. And let's talk about the folks who live someplace cold and have to do some preheating. And while we're on climate, let me add this little chuckle. I'm a southerner. I mean, I came from the deep south where at 300 feet of elevation, you could see the Gulf of Mexico. Not everybody considers themselves a southerner. But I now live in Ohio and I have a radiant floor heater, which will keep any airplane I put in my hangar at whatever temperature the floor is. So there you go. There's another way of doing that for climate. Now, another category of answer fell into sump heaters, and there are a wide variety of sump heaters that you can buy to put on your um, oil sump, but they can come in strips, they come in pads, they're held on by different ways, but they all plug into electricity, and then if you've got a way of getting electric to them, they can heat your sump. So that's one way of just warming the oil if your climate is not too bitterly cold. Now, several folks remarked about the Easy Heat system, and they have a wide variety of options that you can buy for it. Now, these all run, these are pads that just go on the oil sump like we just talked about, and they're all in the $100 to $200 range. So you're not investing a lot, but you're going to have to have a way to plug it in. But that's the plug there for the Easy Heat system that folks recommended. Now, people also recommended the reef system, and these are the ceramic bands that go around the cylinder base, and they come in a variety of different sizes. There are 50-watt elements, 100-watt elements, and they also have a pad that goes on the oil ping. Now, the reef system will run about $500, but again, some folks gave them good marks, and so they use them, and they wouldn't think of using anything else. So, shop wisely. And then there's the TANA system. Now the TANA system, again, has something that goes on the oil sump. They also have a probe that goes into the oil to heat the oil directly. And they have probes that either go into where the cylinder head temperature probes in the bottom of the cylinder holes are, or they can go in a rocker cover. But they supply by putting 50 watts of heat into the large mass of the upper cylinder. So that's the TANIS systems, and you can expect about $820 plus the installation for TANIS. Now in the other category, folks got creative using marine parts, uh, bulb heaters from incubators for chicks, and ceramic heaters that you can buy like at Home Depot or Lowe's. Again, it's just a way of warming up the engine compartment and be sure you put like a sleeping bag or blankets over it, as well as some cowling plugs to keep the heat in. But these systems will work if you're living in a southern clime. Now, twin hornet systems were mentioned, and that's a marine system for heating the boat engine compartment in a marine environment. And basically, it's a little ceramic heater that heats the engine compartment. So marine or aviation, why not? We have seaplanes. Now, a variant on the Edison light bulb technique is to use a ceramic bulb for like a chick incubator. And this is for when you're hatching chickens. It keeps them warm so they're ni they stay nice and warm since there's no mothers with her feathers to keep them warm. So it's a clever alternative on a light bulb. So take a look at it, and they run about $10. And then there were the folks that use a ceramic heater, and it just plugs in. Again, you're going to wrap the cowling with a sleeping bag or something to keep it in, but these ceramic heaters are 1,200 to 1,500 watts. They're late. There's no ignition point. You can plug them in. Uh, they run about 30 to $40, so they're not very expensive, and they put out a lot of heat. The one thing that folks mentioned is that if you live in a cold climb, you're going to want to put a ceramic heater in the cabin that will warm up the seats and all the instruments in your panel. 
And let's not forget the Edison light bulb. It generates actually more heat than it does light. But if you can get a hold of one, 100 to 300 watts, uh, put it in a utility holder and stick it in your engine compartment. And again, wrap it with a sleeping bag. And that's another way to warm things up for yourself. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's kind of the survey of what you had to say on the Sunday Halloween of 2021. So winter's coming. So now we all have some options. We've talked about the pricing. So again, thanks for being part of the Grumman Gang. It was nice to be able to send out that message and get back to responses fairly quickly and be able to organize them. So ladies and gentlemen, we hope you found all this useful and informative. Yeah, preheat's not as much fun as a basket of kittens, but, you know, we do the best that we can if we think. Thanks for watching, and have a great day flying your Grumman. You know, forget buying expensive toys for your kittens and cats. Um, we find that just taking the aircraft spruce box and the paper on the tile floor is more than enough amusement for them for hours.